Hey, it's Mike Delisco. You know, ever since Phoenix started building boats back in late 2008, 2009, I've driven a 721 series boat. But this year, I decided to do a little bit of change. They came out with a brand new 20 PHX model, and I just had to have one. So for 2018, this is the boat I'm driving. Let's take a look and tour everything I've got in my boat and how this thing lays out. So the 20 PHX model is 20 feet 6 inches long, has a 96 inch beam. And one of the things they did with this boat is they made the front end even a little bit wider, just like the 21 and 21 PHX. A little bit wider than my 721, which gives you a better fishing platform in front, better uh, rough water stability, and just an overall better ride. So I'm really excited to get out there and see what this boat can do. But the front deck really is a big improvement, bigger front deck more space to winter all the way around. So obviously by having a bigger front end you've also got a, a different configuration now for this new front shroud. A little bit different than the old series. Um, really really like it. Really streamlined. Got a few extra features like a cup holder and some other stuff. They've also got the, the trim uh, and navigation light switch in a different place now. So um, much more improved front bow shroud and a whole lot more room for every fishing application. So one of the really cool things with this 20 PHX, just like with the 21 PHX, it has this giant center rod box where you can put a multiple of different boxes or even rods and reels in here. So mine is, is set up where I've got four rods on each side and I've also got my boxes in the center. And what that allows me to do, uh, a lot of times what I like is I like to keep the rods that I'm fishing with over here on top of my regular rod box and if I need to get rods during the day, if I need to change up bait or change rods or do every, you know, something different, I can just go right into this center rod box now and grab the rods that I need. Instead of having to move all these other rods on top of my regular rod box, I can get what, what I need right here just by lifting one box. I can grab baits, I can grab boxes, I can grab rods and reels. Everything is right here in this giant storage area. The other thing that they did too is they eliminated all those little um, dividers in between your boxes. So now you've got, you know, an infinite um, setup as far as what size boxes, how many boxes, and what you can actually put in this center box. If you fill this thing full of tackle, you'll be set to go fish no matter where you're going. So the other thing that they've done now here in the front end is because of the increased space in this big rod locker, we've got a little day box here right now, which is really cool. So, you know, baits that I'm going to be fishing with throughout the day, um, simply just come and get them right here, right in this little day box. What they've done is they've split this rod box on the other side and shortened it a little bit. And you've got a day box with a, with a little divider. You can put your baits right in there. And there's also storage underneath here. So I can put even more baits underneath if I need more stuff. I've got plenty of storage in this boat. So um, really thought out well as to how to make it more efficient when you're out there fishing. The day box is a great addition. The other thing they've done too with this uh, day box is that they've shortened the regular rod box. So what I do now is keep, you know, rain gear and bibs and life jackets and all this other stuff right here in this box. So it just allows me to be a little bit more efficient. I can have a, virtually everything I need in this boat is right up here in the front end. Um, I can keep very few things in the back end so I can keep that back compartment open for my co-anglers when we're fishing. And then the other compartment in the back and back of my driver's seat, you know, tools and spare things and spare props and just that, that emergency stuff that you might need. That's where I keep all that stuff. But all of my fishing related things, rain gear, bibs, Life jackets here on this side, day box here, rod storage here in the center, tackle box storage, and then, you know, your regular rod box um, over here on the standard side with, you know, up to 12, 14 rods in that. Uh, so really laid out well here in the front end, and there's nothing that I miss here in the 20 PHX. So over here in the very back, like I mentioned, I'm going to keep this other side open uh, typically for my co-angler's gear or if I've got a friend coming out fishing with me, you know, he's going to have a spot for his stuff too, so I don't want to, you know, leave him out, let him have some, some spot to stow his gear during the day. But this other side right here is where I'm going to keep 
extra um, throw cushions and tools and emergency stuff and just things that I might need just in case uh, if I need to fix something during the day or you know an emergency happens. I've got all the gear that I need and I keep this all in one spot so I know where everything is and that's how I've done it with virtually every Phoenix boat that I've ever had. That's where all that stuff goes right there. The other cool thing that they did is the latches are all new this year. So what you have is a, a system where you don't need to turn the locks anymore. Simply just push down and your compartment is shut. It's locked. It's locked tight. It's extremely sturdy. So to lift it up to, lift the lever and pull and then it opens up. So really cool feature that, you know, they're continuing to, you know, add value to the boats and change uh, things that were already good, they're making things already better. And that includes the latch system on every latch and every hatch in this boat. So up here in the front, we're going to be doing uh, all our fishing. Um, pretty much the same setup as I had last time. Uh, we've got the Motor Guide X5 trolling motor, um, foot control. Been very, very happy with this motor since they came out with this X5. Super smooth, really dependable, um, really powerful. 100 and five pounds of thrust, um, 36 volt, pretty much gets me through every situation that I need out in the water. Um, X5, so we've got that here again uh, this year. The uh, the 20 PHX also has a little bit different um, front bow shroud than some of the other models. A little bit more streamlined. We've got a cup holder uh, inserted in there now this time, and then the trim and nav light uh, switches all in one piece. Uh, right here pretty much out of the way uh, so you can't step on it or mash it by mistake so a little bit more streamlined and then um, on the front bow I've got a little bit different um, fish finder this year this is a, a B&G Vulcan 12 and it's a 12 inch screen but it's very very compact and that's one of the things I liked about this particular unit that it's extremely compact so it's not going to get in my way uh, I'm not a big fan of having two screens on the front of my boat, so I wanted something that was a little bit more compact, a little bit um, more user-friendly as far as you know space goes. So um, B&G Vulcan 12, all touchscreen, really, really cool unit. Great pictures of the bottom, and uh, you know runs really good on this HDI transducer that I've got mounted on the front of my motor guide trolling motor. So. That's pretty much it here in the front end. Um, obviously power pull controls, uh, which you'll see here in just a little bit, but um, pretty much standard front end. So one other thing I've got on the, uh, the, the boat up here in the front end is a, uh, is a really cool thing. It's called a trick step. And typically when I've seen these in the past, they've always been uh, like an aftermarket device that they're you know bolted onto the frame of the trailer. Well, the cool thing about what Phoenix is doing in Marine Master Trailers is now they're actually incorporating this right into your trailer. So they're building it in, they're welding it on, so it's a really, really secure uh, feature to help you get in and out of the boat. And especially if you're driving a pickup truck like me that has a, a, a flat cap on the back, it's sometimes hard to get in and out of certain ramps, especially if they're real long, flat ramps and you gotta get, get in the water. Having this trick step, I can walk right up, walk right down, really safe, really secure. It's a really cool addition my Phoenix. Okay, so back here in the console, um, we've got uh, two graphs. We have a, a Carbon 16, which is, um, God, it's really awesome. It's, uh, the screen size really gives you the affordability to do um, a, a lot of different things with this. I can split the screen four different ways, so, you know, I can get my chart, I can get structure scan, I can get um, 2D sonar up um, all at the same time uh, and then having the secondary screen too and, and that's typically you know a mapping situation uh, when I want to run dual maps and for that application I have another one of these BNG uh, 12 inch Vulcans and the thing that I like about this unit like I mentioned before is that it's much more compact than a traditional you know, 12 inch carbon or Gen 12 inch Gen 3 uh, because it doesn't have that whole case around it. it the whole thing is, is touch screen. So um, just a little bit smaller profile. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. 
it's a really good complement to this uh, carbon 16 and uh, running side by side two awesome views of what you're looking at so the other thing that that Phoenix did too with their shroud is um, they angled it a little bit different so when you're running some of these bigger uh, machines you're able to see them a little bit better when you're sitting behind the seat uh, they've also increased the size a little bit of the console to accommodate um, either dual machines side by side or one big one just like we have here so you know just a little bit more um, thought that went into uh, how everything lays out in this Phoenix 20 PHX all right so back here and last but not least we have what powers this whole thing Mercury 250 Pro XS it's virtually the same motor that I've had ever since I started running a Phoenix super dependable super fast super smooth it's just an awesome all-around motor and one that has really given me no troubles for the last 10 years so Mercury 250 Pro XS uh, prop Tempest 26 on this one um, I like the Tempest prop it, it, I feel it gives me a little bit better bite in rough water just has a little bit overall better uh, performance than any other prop that I fished with and uh, you know why mess with anything that you know if, if it's not broke don't fix it so it's the same prop I've, I've been running I'm going to continue to run it Tempest uh, 26 pitch so uh, the other thing too power poles I put uh, I got two eight foot blades on the boat this year and I was a little reluctant you know for the longest time to actually run power poles it just um, I, I don't know what it was, but I tell you what, I really, really like having these power poles on the boat. Um, and I've just begun to kind of scratch the surface. The boat's brand new. It's only been in the water a few times. But I can tell you, I'm going to get a lot of really good use out of my power pole blades uh, this coming season. Can't wait. Uh, and one more quick thing, too. Um, traveling down the road, I need to keep my you know motor and gear secure. And there is no better way to help keep your motor straight and protected traveling down the road than with a motor mate and uh, I've had a motor mate on virtually every single Phoenix that I've ever had uh, great addition and if you guys are looking for the most secure way to keep your motor straight running down the, down the road check out motor mate and that's uh, that's pretty much the the whole setup that I've got I'm really excited to be in this uh, you know 20 PHX this year uh, really getting a also see what it does performance wise out in some rough water and I can already tell you from you know the few days that I've got to spend in it already fishing wise phenomenal boat set up the right way all the convenience features that I want from front to back it's really the way to go so if you're looking for a boat check out phoenixboats.com check out the new 20 PHX I'm Mike Delisco I'll see you on the water